Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how I am organizing my baby boy's closet in the nursery and also his dresser as well. So I have been working on this project and just getting everything ready for his closet and how I am organizing all of his clothes and all of his little goodies in his room. So I figured I would share with you guys. I hope you enjoy. I am 35 and a half weeks pregnant as of today. So probably by the time you see this video, I will be around 36 weeks. So I am getting so close. I'm out of breath. I still somehow have a little bit of energy. Like I definitely can't get through the day without a nap, but <laughs> I still have a little bit of energy I'm holding on to. So um, this is my little bump as of right now. So it's not so little <laughs> anymore. It's actually huge. I didn't actually think I was going to get this big, but it's crazy and I absolutely love it. I'm going to miss my little pregnant belly. But yeah, let's just get right into this video. Okay, so this is the before shot and I've kind of just been stockpiling everything in here randomly, hanging up some stuff. And yeah, this is a bunch of his stuff just like thrown in here that I have to go through and organize and everything still. So this is what we are working with. It's not the biggest closet, but it's going to work. Um, we do want to add little shelves right here. For some reason, the house that we're renting, it has like the pieces for the shelves, but they never put the shelves up. They literally only put this one up. So we are going to go to Home Depot and we're going to get some wood so we can have a little bit more dividers. And then we have two nice big spots to hang clothes. And then the bottom is completely empty. So I'll show you how I did all this, but I went ahead and just bought this um, little organizer off of Amazon. And that has saved my life, so I definitely recommend doing something like that if your closet doesn't have a lot of organization at the bottom, because that's literally just waste of space. So, this is the before, and we are just going to get to it. Okay, so this is the cube that I built that I got from Amazon. It comes like this. I got the one that has six little spots. It was really easy to build, honestly. I did it completely by myself and had no issues. So, I like that. I went ahead and emptied this little middle spot. And then I'm going to show you the little wood pieces that we got. So, we literally went ahead and we just measured this little piece right here so we knew how big it was. Went to Home Depot got some wood and then just cut them into the right sizes so super easy i might paint these white just because everything else in the closet is white um but they didn't have any they only had the regular wood which is fine but for now it's gonna work so i'm just gonna slide these right in That as well is giving us so much more space now and we can actually utilize the middle section right here. So it does look a little bit silly having <laughs> the different colors, but once everything's on there, I don't think you're really, I don't think I'll really mind that much. So that was a super easy DIY for us to do and it's giving us a ton more space. All right. So... <laughs> I'm going to try showing you this, but I'm trying also not to show you too much of the nursery because I'm going to do a nursery re reveal. But this is everything that just came out of the closet. So we need to go through all of this. I need to organize it and figure out how I want to store everything. Okay, so for that little cube that I just showed you, I picked up all of these little buckets and they fit perfectly inside of them. So this is what I'm going to use to organize. I will have everything that I can find that I got off of Amazon and everything linked in my description box for you just in case you are interested. And then I also found these little chalkboard clips. And so basically what I'm gonna do is figure out what I wanna put in each one of these buckets. I already have an idea 
kind of started already and then I'm just gonna use chalk and I'm just gonna write what's in each box on the cube and then I'm just gonna put it like that so everything is nicely labeled if I ask Jeff to go grab something or a family member when they come over they won't have to be like I don't know where anything is it's all gonna be nice and labeled so that's my next step Okay, so here are all the labels. I have one that says toys, bottles, swaddles, stuffed animals, all of his blankets, and then burp cloth. So this is what I'm gonna have for now. What's nice about the chalkboard is if I change my mind and I wanna do something else, I can easily erase it and then just relabel them. All right, so this is all of the extra bottles. I am breastfeeding, so I don't plan on using bottles very often, but when I do need them, I have them all here. I have a little bottle brush and just everything bottle related that I'm gonna need. In this one, I have all of his little extra blankets, all nice and rolled up and folded in there. In this one, I have all of his Velcro swaddles. So not like swaddle blankets, but the ones, you know, that actually, actually the Velcro and stuff like that. So that is all in here. And then in this one, I just have some of his toys, little teethers and stuff that he's not going to be using right away, but some of these will. Like this is zero money. Just like little, little things that he can play with are all in here. In this one is a few of little stuffed animals that I have for him, his little loveys, and this one's super cute. These are monkeys that I had growing up, so I just put a few of these in here for him as well. And then this is just all of his burp cloths. So I think this is a really good way to organize a lot of stuff, and it keeps it ni nice and neat as well. Okay, so here's what it looks like when it's all done. So this is the final product. I ended up changing some things around. So I will start from over here just really quickly. I showed you all how I organized this. I just added a few of his little milestone blocks and little cards on top. And then I have some of his shoes. I have a cute little elephant right there. More shoes. And then just a little mountain, which is the theme of his room. On this side of the closet, I have all of his, well, not anywhere near all of his, but some of his like nicer outfits and his two-piece sets and jackets. That's what I decided to hang up. So I have newborn and zero to three on this side. And then I have three to six on this side. And then I also have his little carrier hanging up back there. On this side, I have all of the one size one diapers and then extra wipes. On this side, I have an extra changing pad. This is a bucket full of like his milestone blanket, extra crib sheets, extra changing table sheets, all that kind of stuff. And then this over here is just um, extra car seat covers. Whew, I'm so out of breath. And then up at the top, I just have his size two diapers, which I'm not gonna need for a while. I have his little diaper genie refills, and then a bunch of free formula samples that were sent to me and stuff, which I don't plan on using formula, but I'm just gonna keep them just in case because you never know what can happen. So that is everything. I think it looks a lot better. Very functional space. I'm able to fit a lot of stuff in here and just keep it nice and organized and cute so 
that is how it turned out. Okay, so this is the dresser that I'm using for his nursery. And I'm just gonna show you quickly how I organized everything. The little inserts in the inside are from Ikea. I talk about them in a couple of my videos. But this top first drawer is just some newborn diapers, couple packs of wipes. This second drawer is all of his medicine type stuff. So in this first one, I have his baby lotions and stuff like that. This is all like, um, you know, butt cream and rat diaper rash stuff, all of that. This one, I have some little boogie wipes. I have a little brush and a comb. And then I also have this little electric nail file, which I have heard amazing things about. I will link it in my description box for you. But I got it off of Amazon, and basically it's just an electric nail file, so you don't worry about cutting their little fingers. Um, it does also come with a little, little um, nail clipper as well, but I think that's going to be nice. And then I just have some samples um, of boogie wipes and baby Tylenol and all that kind of stuff in here just in case and then up at the front I just have a little hand sanitizer I have the nose Frida snot sucker which I heard amazing things about as well and then I just have some baby gripe water so this is kind of all of his like medicine type stuff in this third drawer, I went ahead and just did binky-related binky stuff. So these are a few of his binkies. This is a little case to put a binky in. I'm going to put this in my diaper bag and pull that out, actually. I have this little wub and up, and then just some little binky clips. I also had to take my ring off because my fingers are so swollen now. So I <laughs> have this little silicone one on now until I deliver him but so passies and then I just have some little wipes right here and then I got so many binkies gifted to me and sent to me for free and all kinds of stuff so that is what is in this drawer and then the last top drawer is socks these are his little newborn and like smaller size socks and then these are like a little bit bigger size socks these are all of his little hats and then these are actually milestone socks. They say like one month, two month, three month, etc. So I just have all those up in front for pictures. And then over on this side, I did all of his zero to, no, 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 sorry. On this drawer, this is all newborn. So all of these are just onesies. In the middle are all of his pants. And then these are long sleeve sleepers. So these are all newborn. I know I have way too much and he's probably not even going to fit in them, but <laughs> if he happens to be smaller, he will fit. <laughs> this is all zero to three months. So all of his same, same um, organizational layout is what I like to do is just onesies, pants, and then sleepers. So that's zero to three and I roll the pants up and I also fold all of his onesies and stuff in threes. So this bottom drawer is three months. So same concept, all of his onesies, pants, and sleepers, which I kind of ran out of room on this one because I had a lot for some reason. And then over here, this is three to six months, which I don't have a ton of stuff yet. But onesies, and then I did pants right here. And I only have a few sleepers for three to six. So I guess I need to go shopping for three to six months because I'm definitely slacking on that size. So that is how I decided to organize everything. Um, I think I'm going to like it. You never know. Once he comes, I might find a system that works a little bit easier or more efficiently. And I will share that with you if I end up changing my mind. But in the meantime, I'm liking how everything looks and how everything is nice and organized and labeled. So I hope you guys got some good ideas. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be having lots of baby content coming soon. <laughs>
Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new here. I would love to have you. And I will see you guys next time on Life with Liz. Bye, guys. Thank you.